we've got this equation right here, and the slope is written in green. Teaching mathematics, I think 20, 30 years ago, there was a lot more drill. So there's been a shift in getting kids to think instead of recite, but it's harder for us as teachers to make the shift because we tend to teach the way that we were taught. Thumbs up if you agree. Thumbs down if you disagree. I was a little apprehensive about the iPads this year. Right now we're in chapter four, which is graphing linear equations. One of my colleagues showed me a, the Show Me app, and the Show Me app has templates already in it. So when we're graphing, we don't have to use pen and paper. We can pull the background up and immediately start graphing things. We expect to make mistakes, and we welcome the mistakes because we know the mistakes will make us learn. I was searching for a way to take the fear out of making mistakes, and I thought, when I was a kid, we used to go up to the, the chalkboard and do the problem, and you had to take care in what you were doing, and it kind of puts you on the hot seat. I mean, there's a lot of anxiety with mathematics, so if you get past the anxiety of being wrong, and then you understand that you actually learn from that process, I think they're excited about that. And the iPad's the tool we're using to do that. I need your help on this one. He should have went over three from the one dot. Okay, what do you guys think? As a teacher, you can either be afraid of it or you can say, well, I don't know a whole lot about this, but I know my kids do, and they're happy to show you. I asked a kid in my class, hey, how do I get what I have on my screen up on my projector? And so we'd put a problem up, and then I'd have kids show me how they did it. Some of them take a lot of pride in how it looks, and especially if it's gonna be projected or they're going to talk about it and show it, they want it to look better. That's really quite new. You're gonna have to put the, the number where X is, and you always times, right? So you do three times that number, and that would be that, so it can't be a zero. The technology allows me to survey my class and to know they're on task, but also to be mobile and to teach and project from where I'm at but also help students where they are. Do we have a clear pattern of uh, outputs? We do, plus two, see that? We need kids to be literate with technology. We need kids to be exposed to being responsible with technology. iPads are just a tool for us to communicate and for us to learn. I mean, I've always enjoyed teaching, but I really, really love the process. I was having a ton of fun, but as I was watching my students kind of come alive, and that was exciting to me. Okay, your job is to graph this. I'm out. Peace out, Trout.